it's your girl Denise from At Home with Denise and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. I am so super excited that you all have joined me on today. It is a partly cloudy Saturday, but it's a beautiful Saturday nonetheless. I am getting ready to go grocery shopping and I want to take you all along with me stop into a store or two and then head back home and do a bit of baking on this afternoon. I just wanted to bring you along with me on my day today. I hope that you all are having an amazing day and I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If this is your first time joining me, I want to say welcome to this channel and I hope that you see something that you like just enough to hit that subscribe button so we can see you here again the next time and you can be a part of this growing community. Again, welcome to and welcome back to At Home with Denise with your girl Denise. So let's go ahead and let's get to it together. So I stopped off in TJ Maxx first. I came in basically looking for a new handbag for my daughter for everyday use, um, a new black bag. But of course, I had to browse through the rest of the store and see what they had in home decor, self-care, and all the other good things in between. We are back from the stores and Walmart. I didn't record in Walmart because it was so many people in there. I just had to get it done today. And I'll sit out, show you all what I got when I um when we got home. So this is just a quick grocery haul. This is just for dinners this week. So we got some ground beef in order to make meatloaf one night. I'm trying my plan is to make meatloaf tonight. Spaghetti one day later this week. Uh, we have some sausage. We're gonna have stewed tomatoes and sausage with sausage and rice later on this week. Um, a ham steak. We'll have ham steak and macaroni one night this week. And I believe spaghetti another night. And the rest of the stuff are just fillers for the week. Like we were out of cereal. The kids needed some juices for their lunch boxes this week. Um, we also have um, bought some Lunchables, bought Madison some more Gatorade for volleyball practice. We were out of syrup. Got some more breakfast sausages, the stewed tomatoes that we'll have this week, some oranges. Um, some chocolate chip cookies, some blueberry muffins, as well as some apple turnovers. And we needed some more spaghetti noodles, the cereal to replace the, my boy's favorite two, the chips for, and the, um, their chip, the chips are for their um, lunch boxes as well. The crackers, they're just snacks just to have. We also bought some um, staple items to put in for the pantry for um, baking. I am on, it's the fall season. I love to bake. I, I'm really good at baking pies, but breads, they're not my best. So I'm, I'm going get ready to go on a journey of trying to teach myself how to bake more breads. And I wanted to make banana nut bread tonight. I'm not sure I'm gonna have enough time to do that later this evening. If I don't, I'll get it done sometime within this week. Um, so I bought some all-purpose and some self-rising flour, some baking soda and baking powder, some more sugar, some walnuts, as well as some chocolate chips. The onion is for dinner tonight and later this week. 
I'm not sure if I told you all about the Arizona drinks and the breakfast sausages as well as um, a bag of potatoes. So that's all of the food items that we purchased in Walmart on today. So over here, just some other household items that I got in Walmart that we were out of paper towels, plastic ware, the cups, the forks, the plates, the bowls, all the good stuff. I needed a new cutting board as well as wire, a cooling rack um, to go along with my new journey of learning to bake and then I got some new glass bowls. I had some, I uh, have some stainless steel mixing bowls, but I wanted some glass bowls. So I picked up this 10 pack on today, as well as some more um, smaller um, glass service. So I'm gonna flip over and then show you what we got out of TJ Maxx. So from TJ Maxx, I did pick up a new little um, corner shelf for my vanity station in my bathroom, as well as a new dispenser for my cotton swabs as well as my rounds. I broke the handle off of one of them, I dropped it, so I can't use it properly anymore. I'll use it for something else now. Uh, I did pick up these cute little coffee um, cups or tea cups to put in my fall beverage station in just a little while that I'm gonna be setting up very soon. It says, hello, pumpkin spice. Fall is in the air, and if you've been with me for a little while, you know that fall is my favorite season, so I'm excited about um, getting ready to decorate for the fall season. I did get these cute little bowls. I've been wanting a set. I have a Madison or I could wear them. <laughs> I got a um, pill organizer, something to be able to put my vitamins in every morning so I can make sure that I actually take them. So if I have this in my purse, even if I'm rushing out of the door, I'll have them with me um, during the day. I had one prior to, but it was so large and it would open up. But this is so much better because it's in a, um, sealed case, a zipper case rather. I did pick up these little pretty um, florals, uh, fall colored florals from TJ Maxx as well. So I am looking forward to putting them in, on my counter in the kitchen. Uh, I have a vase in mind, but I'm not sure if it's large enough. So if not, I'll be on the look for something else. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I got trash bags when we were at Walmart as well. Um, and then I also picked up this purse for Madison. I hope she likes it. I thought it would be one that she would like. She needs a new uh, handbag or daily bag. So I picked this one up for her and we'll see if she likes it. I think it's cute, so hopefully she will too as well. So that's my little haul from um, TJ Maxx. That's all I picked up on today. So it's time for me to go ahead and start getting ready to cook dinner. I am going to um, be making meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Um, and then I'm going to also make the um, chocolate chip cookies on tonight. Probably going to have some string beans along with that as well. I think that'll be the vegetable that we'll have this evening with that. So let me go ahead and get to it before we it before it be way too late to be eating dinner. So friends, we're now in the kitchen. I'm getting ready to start making dinner. I'm going to be making mashed potatoes with meatloaf and green beans. So I'm getting ready to start peeling my potatoes. Um, I washed dishes earlier today. They're just sitting over there waiting to dry. Um, I don't believe in doing both of them. If I'm not gonna use the dishwasher, the air will dry and then I'll put them up a little bit later or, or the kids will actually put them up a little bit later. So I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling my potatoes. I just have a little grocery bag to use as my trash can. Oh, let me fill my bowl with some water. And so I can get these potatoes on. As you know, it doesn't take potatoes long, but I wanted to get those started before I actually start putting the meatloaf together. So my meatloaf, recipe is very simple. The same normal things, the same seasons that everybody else uses, salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and whatever else I may see in the cabinet that tickles my fancy at that moment. Um, and then it's, I think it's really in the sauce that makes the meatloaf. My aunt makes this um, sweet, chili, barbecue-y kind of flavor, I guess you could say. Um, it has a little kick to it. So I guess that's why I said chili. Um, because it doesn't taste like chili chili. <laughs> um, give it a little sweet heat to it. Not too much. Just enough to, to know that it's there. So I'm going to continue peeling these potatoes and I'll be back with you all in just a little bit when we get ready to start putting the meatloaf together. 
So it's been a minute since I introduced myself and we have quite a few new subscribers to the channel and I want to say welcome to this channel. I'm so glad you decided to hit that subscribe button. I'm super excited that you are here. So um, my name is Denise. I'm a wife, a mom, an educator, a crafter, just trying to juggle everything and juggle life to ensure that I'm taking care of self family and home and making sure that everything goes according to plan i just want to say thank you so much for being here thank you for taking a chance on us and subscribing to this channel i hope that you continue to enjoy this channel and today's video if you do it would be really great if you go ahead hit that thumbs up button and if this is your first time here i want to say welcome to you as well and i hope that you see something today just enough to hit that subscribe button so we can continue to see you here and you can become a part of this growing community thank you so much for joining me and i hope that you continue to enjoy this channel at home with denise So I'm getting ready to put my meatloaf together and you can see the ingredients that I'll be using salt, pepper, seasoning, salt, onion powder, and garlic powder. And I'm going to be using a fourth of an onion as well. As I've told you all before, I really love the flavor of onions, but I do not like the crunch of an onion while eating. So I use just enough onion to get the flavor from it, uh, but it's not overwhelming when I'm actually chewing the meal that I'm, I'm preparing. So I've started making the um, meatloaf. I've started cutting um, my onion. I only use like a fourth of an onion because I like the flavor of onions, but I don't like actually eating them. So I'm going to try to chop this as finely as I possibly can. So they will shrink even more as they are cooking. I love the flavor, but I do not like chewing them. I've added all the seasonings that I'm going to use in my meatloaf and I'm going to add two eggs now and some Italian bread crumbs as my binding agents to help solidify my meatloaf. sauce for the meatloaf. 
I did call my aunt to make sure I had it right. So these simple four ingredients, ketchup, a little bit of um, apple cider vinegar, some chili sauce, I don't have any, so I'm gonna use chili powder to give it that little kick, and some um, brown sugar. So uh, with the vinegar, she said, make sure you only lose maybe a capful, if that much. So I'm gonna add some brown sugar. Chili powder for the chili sauce to give it that little kick. And a cap full of some apple cider vinegar. Whisk that together. And then in a little bit, I'll put the um, sauce. Wow, that little bit of it is very strong. Mix that together really well. Get all those little lumps out of the brown sugar. It might take me a while. enjoyed today's video because i've truly enjoyed being here with you on today thanks so much for watching hope to see you in the next video bye bye